southern Indiana and some major storm damage in New Albany. Take a look. The National Weather Service now says an EF1 tornado moved through that area this morning. You can see some power poles, snaps, and damage to apartment roofs on the campus of IU Southeast as well. The university is actually working to clean up a lot of damage. They still, though, plan to hold commencement tomorrow morning. And check this out, downtown Indianapolis. You probably heard thunderstorms in our area mm. overnight. Well, this is a lightning strike from our Salesforce tower camera during the storms. This is actually the last image we got from the camera. As soon as this happened, it froze. Mm. So, boom, uh, there yeah. you see it, and bye-bye camera. Yeah. Um, Actually, there was a viewer, I put it on Twitter, who sent us a really powerful image as well of another lightning strike. It was really all over the place. Well, and it was nonstop. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm sure we've had a night like that. I just sure. can't recall one recently for sure. And It uh, lit up. There was one around, I was one around 1.32 in the morning, and there was also one around 6 in the morning that, I mean, my house was shaking here. Tabitha wow. caught one. This is from oh, uh, wow. her vantage point. Uh, you can see the Riley Towers there, uh -huh. and that was around 2 a.m. So uh, I was <laughs> I was up, and it was kind of on and off for the rest of the morning. So yeah, we're going to have to hang tight, friends, because uh, we are going to have another batch of thunderstorms. Now uh, these are non-severe. I will tell you the storms are definitely going to be prolific lightning producers once again. Uh, you're going to hear the rumbles already there in Bedford, Sullivan. Again, non-severe at this point, but still very disruptive with the lightning and the downpours. Um, better odds of seeing severe weather this evening going to be in this watch box where these storms are going gangbusters uh, through parts of Illinois. Uh, the storms that we had this morning, again, with the cloud cover, helped save us from seeing late day development. So now it's kind of a waiting game. And these storms that are in Illinois, as they cross the state line, will encounter an atmosphere that's a little more stable. Uh, rain amounts, a lot of spots over an inch. You see Terre Haute over two, almost three quarters here, officially Indianapolis. So uh, for the remainder of th tonight, can't rule out severe thunderstorms. It's just going to be more likely um, not only for seeing storms, but perhaps seeing some severe thunderstorms. And it would be with the remnant storm complex uh, between about 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. Storms are going to be very likely during that time. Flooding, severe wind possible, uh, lightning very like likely. And then Monday afternoon, scattered thunderstorms around. But just know that your commute, your school drop off, the kids at the bus stop, we are all going to be in the same boat together with these storms that are coming in. Cannot rule out severe weather tomorrow. Uh, and let me show you how it plays out. This is future track 13. So we'll be waiting and watching. Chuck and Lindsay will have you covered on sunrise. Uh, this is by 10 a.m. Now, what kind of shape will that complex be when it gets here? That we just can't tell you. We have to prepare for the worst. Um, but right now we're thinking downpours and lightning very likely. Then we'll wait again and wait and see where the next round starts to pop up here. Any storms that develop late tomorrow afternoon, some of those could be severe. Once we get through Monday, then we will start to transition to some pleasant conditions. But for uh, outdoor activities tomorrow, you'll have to be on radar watch with you. Um, it is still going to be uncomfortably humid tomorrow. But once we get through tomorrow evening, the wind starts to come in from the northeast and voila, refreshing air returns and it is going to feel oh so nice as we get into Tuesday and that comfortable air will stick around for Wednesday and Thursday as well. Wednesday may be the pick of the week here. Then it will start to get a little more unsettled. The humidity starts to go back up Friday into the weekend here and that means a 50% chance of thunderstorms. Too early to tell coverage. Right now, we'll fine-tune it for the Grand Prix as well as Mother's Day.